Hi, Jenny Kohler here, PwC's U.S. cloud and digital leader. Here's take five with Microsoft on what's now versus what's next with cloud. Joining me is Gail Shepard, Microsoft's corporate VP of global expansion and digital transformation. Gail, welcome. Hey, Jenny. Hi, in five minutes or less, we're going to dive into our topic with a lightning round. You ready? Let's do it. I'm curious. What was your first memory using a computer? I remember joy. So what was I doing with this computer? I was writing a little code. I would use it to write papers, uh, documenting my code, and I used it to play games. And I just remember joy. That was the first word that came to my mind. Well, Gail, that sounds great. Joy, joy is great. What I remember is my parents had one of those computers that you know you use a floppy disk drive for. And I will tell you something. I will tell you something. Full confession, it still runs today when I go home and see them. But let's fast forward to today. Where are you seeing companies place their biggest bets for cloud investments? I think there are a couple areas. One would be resiliency and security. Uh, two would be data and analytics. And three would be applying AI and machine learning to, those da to that data and really organizing the data in such a way that it can be purposeful uh, as opposed to just stored. And so uh, those three big areas and they are changing what we do. Those are big, those are big. How can companies, those three areas, how can they accelerate the process of realizing value? One is, I, uh, if we look at the data estate itself, that's a really hard topic, Jenny. That's really hard to do. So we, we gotta know where data is. And there are tools that are now helping us map it, find it, map it, identify it, all good. Uh, so one, get those tools. You know, we have some in Azure and, and our data group and, uh, and, and they, they exist out in the marketplace. Um, second is um, leverage the great work that's been done in data science and, and modeling and AI and machine learning so that you, you can leverage what others have done before you and tweak that to make it work for you. And you don't have to have the army of data scientists anymore because we're building that into the thinking behind our AI and machine learning platform. So that's great. And then uh, resiliency and security are just the way the cloud works. So you think about the, you know, the, the, the rigor that we, we have to put into cloud infrastructures and their operating capabilities. They are resilient by default. They are secure by default. So that's just part of getting to the cloud. But uh, I think the heavy lifting is on the data side. You get that done and then you're on your way. The business strategy is so very important and underpins all of this. How are you seeing, maybe some examples in different industries, how are you seeing the cloud supercharge the strategy? Supercharging strategy, shoot, I see this across industry, uh, picking really at strategic workloads like seismic workloads in oil and gas, uh, investment, treasury um, uh, applications and financial services, omni-channel uh, customer personalization um, efforts in, uh, in retail. We see all of these uh, underway and many, many more. Um, what's interesting about all of them is that they're using the cloud for the, the, the sheer power of compute that it brings to them, in addition to resiliency and security. Uh, they're using AI machine learning uh, and deploying that uh, on, on the fly in real time, if you will. And additionally, um, they're, they're driving down the cost and the access uh, challenges that our professionals have, whether they, be, whether they be investment management, whether they be oil and gas uh, seismic experts, or they be um, uh, uh, personalization, working on customer personalization, all of that is now um, uh, has a force multiplier effect by cloud, by the tools that you have available to you there, and by the, the thinking that's gone into making those tools immediately adoptable. So I think that's, you know, that's where we're seeing um, leverage and acceleration occur. Oh, I love the insight, Gail. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for taking time out of your day to take five with us. You're welcome. Thank you.